film is a very important part of uh, any football program around the country. You get a certain amount of reps on the field in practice. You supplement those reps by watching film from an end zone view or a sideline view. The problem I always had with watching film is the vantage point you're sitting up in a box, basically. It just looks totally different. Virtual reality is kind of something that puts you right there. Virtual reality is using an immersive display that's basically right up in front of your eyes. So not only is it showing you something, but it is tracking the movement of your head and changing the view in response to that. In whatever direction he moves his head in, he will see the rush coming from his left or the rush coming from his right. You turn around and you can see the running back behind you, you see the line and you feel like you're in the game and it's just a very good simulation of an actual football game. And if you have immersive 360 degree sound, that does more to amplify the sense of presence. Your brain really believes that you are in the space that you're looking at through a VR headset. Their photo yeah, they're, they're just picking up your movement. And so it's real video of real players who are taking shots at you. The puck then becomes CG once it comes off their stick. So that, that's what enables you to interact with it and you know block it or miss it. You're kind of sitting there like, you're going to get out of this thing, and you're going to be sweaty, and you're going to be feeling like you just were out on the ice. <laughs> Driver is a company that uses virtual reality technology to help train football players. So instead of being on the field, you're in an immersive VR environment. Striver was founded in the Stanford football office. I was doing this as a project for my master's thesis while I was coaching. And goal number one was to help Stanford football. And then always in the back of my mind, I was saying, you know what, I should really pay attention to this thing because I really like coaching, but this is something that could be pretty unique. When players put this thing on, we basically transport them into a 360 degree scene of what they will actually see on the field. We do everything ourselves during practice and then afterwards we bring in all the footage from the GoPros, upload it onto the computers that they gave us. Four or five hours later they send us back the final product. From there we just put in data and it's ready to go. The first time I put the headset on was unbelievable. You're on the football field, you're standing behind center, you can hear my voice talking. At the snap of the ball, you see the defense moving and the play gets started, it was surreal. We're giving you a first person vantage point from where you play. That's very different from end zone film, sideline film, drone cam. Nothing has been able to recreate until now the actual viewpoint from where a player plays from. There's also a training element. I didn't get the rep yesterday. Let me go get it 10 times. Or I got it once, I need it six more times. Training a quarterback through VR sounds a little bit like science fiction. It seems like something from the far future. But then you think about how much of a quarterback's job is visual. It's pattern recognition. Kids do this in Madden football. They're recognizing defenses and reacting to them. You think about a quarterback who can now prepare and decipher defenses more quickly than, than they can today. It's going to force the defense to step up, and it's just going to elevate the game and, and become more compelling to watch. The big benefits of this kind of training is nobody's tackling you. Nobody's hitting you. There's no risk of injury. I'm nursing a sore hammy. I can't practice. Can I go in and get that virtual rep? That's a phenomenal use case. Could we prevent further injury? Absolutely. How do we get in front of NFL teams, college teams, and then eventually bring the learnings from working with those customers down to the high school and, and even middle school level? The first NFL team that we met with, the Dallas Cowboys, said yes within two weeks. Clemson, Stanford, Arkansas, Auburn, Temple, Vanderbilt, and working with 20 teams. You know, seven in the NFL, 13 in college. This is gonna help our student athletes be better players. How do you go from a novice to an expert? You know, it's, they say 10 years, 10,000 hours. Well, we don't have 10 years in college football, and we certainly don't have 10,000 hours with the limits that we have. But in a 10 minute session, a player can get 1,000 reps if they want to, and so we have Kids come in here every night and they work and they get ahead. In football, we train our feet, we train our bodies, but there's, it's so hard to train people's eyes. And that's really where that's really where sport is played. It's you know it's your reflexes, it's what you see, it's your you know your, your visual capacity. This will train that without having to hit. In 50 years, it's easy to imagine that a huge part of an athlete's time will be spent in these sorts of immersive environments. The possible safety benefits and hopefully cheaper technology in the future, you're going to see it in a lot more places. Even if teams don't necessarily totally buy into it, they're going to say, hey, wait a minute, my rivals have this, I want it. 
Right now, in terms of the senses you put on the headset, it's visual, it's audio. You don't get hit, but down the road, that stuff will probably come about, and, and it'll give people a chance to feel what it's like to be an NFL player. The fan experience, I think, is going to completely change because of this technology. I think you'll see this in everything because there's no sport that you can play where you don't have to have great eyes. We're just hitting the, you know, the, the tip of the iceberg. You can see a few generations ahead. Anything we do with any sort of educational bent, any sort of entertainment consumption bent, everything is going to be affected. This is the next platform.